Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Amanda Waldhart and you are here with Amanda's InspirationStation.com. Thank you, thank you for joining me for my 14 days of Valentine gifts. If you are watching me on my YouTube channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. If you are watching me on um, my Amanda's Inspiration Station Facebook page, I would love for you to follow and like my page. And if you want to hop on over to YouTube or hop on over to Facebook um, and like those, I would appreciate that. That would be great. Um, so we are on day 13 of Valentine Gifts. Um, that means that tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Aww. Okay, so I love Valentine's. I just think like the little gifts. Well, first of all, I love hearts. I think hearts are cute. I love pinks and reds and whites and all together. Sometimes even throwing in the light blue and the purples. I just, I love it all. So I have a cute little gift here today. We are going to be doing a little lip gloss holder. This is especially cute. Like if you have any kids or um, nieces, um, just super cute. Just a cute little gift. Um, and this one is really easy to do as well. But before we get started, let's go over just a few things. So I do have an ordering special. If you place a minimum order of $60 with me, um, February 1st through the 14th using this hostess code here, first of all, you'll get a Stampin' Up! celebration item of your choice. You get to pick that. Um, but then I have a free card kit that I will mail to you also for free. Um, this is a six card kit here using the Sunny Days designer series paper from the celebration. Um, this also is using the Heartfelt Hellos, um, also from celebration. All of these pieces will be cut and prepped for you, punched for you. Um, there will even be some embellishments in there for you to use on your cards. I will also mail to you or I'm sorry, email to you the PDF tutorial. Um, now that tutorial will have um, pictures, um, supply list. It will have step-by-step -step instructions for you with this tutorial. Um, and this card kit will be mailed out on February 20th. Um, and then you will also get emailed to you the all of these 14 gifts um, for the 14 days of Valentine. Now this tutorial is just a tiny bit different. Um, this tutorial has measurements, has um, all the things of where I purchased all these things, cello bags, treats, everything, supply list, colored pictures, how to cut your boxes and treats. Um, the only thing this one doesn't have is actual step-by-step -step instructions, and that is because we're doing the video. Okay, so you guys can watch for the video. All right, so today we have the lip glosses. So I got these lip glosses, again, at the Dollar Tree. And they came in a two-pack, and I thought, well, aren't these perfect? So this one has, like, red and pink in it. And this one just has, like, two colored pinks in it, which I thought was perfect because we're going to change this up just a little bit. So we're still going to use the real red background piece. But because this one has pink, I thought, you know, we're going to add a little bit different pink here. So we're going to add, instead of having the red designer series paper from the Mostly Adored um, with the little white hearts, we're going to do same pack, but we're going to do the um, flirty flamingo um, hearts with the bigger hearts. And then we're just going to kind of change it up just a little bit. So we're going to do a red heart and we're just going to kind of change it up. All right, so let's get started. I have this piece of real red here. And this piece measures at three by five in um, a fourth. And I'm going to get out my simple score tool here because we are going to want to score on the three inch side. And we are going to want to score at one and two. So I'm going to get out my score tool here and we're going to score at one and then we're going to score at two. And then we're going to turn it to five and a fourth and we're going to score at one and a half and two and a half. 
So we're going to score one and a half and two and a half. That's it. Easy peasy. All right. So we want our little box to look like this, in which case it will. So we have the longer pieces at the top and then we have the shorter ones. So we're going to take our paper snips here and we are going to snip these two score lines, and then we're gonna do the darts. Um, and what I'm doing is that I'm creating these like little darts because it is easier for um, moving, like for opening and closing and for just for putting your project together. All right, so we're gonna do the little darts. We're gonna get those out. All right, so that's set aside. So this is how that looks. Now we need to create an angle. This is freehand, so I'm sorry for those who do not like freehand. Um, I will say that some people like to start from the bottom corner and go straight up. Um, that's not how I generally like it, so I'm going to flip it over. I like coming from the score line to the corner, um, but honestly, whatever works best for you. So you're just going to start from that corner, and you're going to go just like that. Okay, now that's going to be hard for me to do it like this. So I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to start from this score line here. And then I am going to line it kind of my, I'm actually what I'm doing is I'm kind of lining up my point of my scissors here and I'm aiming it at the corner there of where it needs to be cut. And I'm just, there we go. That's it. So there's your, there, there it is. Okay. All right. So now we want to fold in our score lines like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold in the center. Kind of looks like a little spaceship, doesn't it? <laughs> or like a rocket. <laughs> so we're going to fold in our center and we're going to bring up the bottom here. Again, I am going to put this together um, before I use adhesive because I want to make sure that it works right. And then we're going to bring up the back. So I, maybe this will be easier. I'm bringing in the center. I'm bringing up the, the bottom. I'm wrapping this part around. So give me a second to get that in there. So there, now I have the bottom. And then what I'm doing is now I'm going to bring up this back. And so it's like this, and then I'm just going to adhere these down like this. Now, these are going to get covered because that's why we're wrapping designer series paper around it. All right, so if we're bringing these up, I want on these tabs some glue. I'm going to use my green glue. Now, if you want to use tear and tape, by all means, you can use tear and tape. I'm going to bring this up, and I'm just going to hold it. Um, I like to use the green glue, especially for 3D projects, because I have a few seconds to like move it around if I don't get it straight. Um, I actually just feel safer with it. I know that sounds weird, safer, but I just do. Like, I don't want to ruin my project that I just did. So I have wiggle room. All right, so I'm just kind of, I know all you see is my hands right now, but I brought the bottom part up and I'm just literally kind of giving it a little pinch here so that it stays. And now what I want to do is I want to bring these in. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of just do this at an angle and I'm going to just kind of do it like that. That's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of bring it to an angle. And then I'm just going to fold this in. Um, and actually, I am going to do this a little bit more there. So I'm going to fold that in. Give it a little pinch. Make sure nothing's coming out. All right. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Kind of doing like a little... And then I'm going to hold that. And actually, I mean, you you can see where you can go to. I'm just going to give that a little pinch. All right. 
guys. Oops, hold on. I think that needs a little more squeeze here. All right, so now I'm gonna put my my um, lip gloss in there, super cute. And I've got my little piece of designer series paper. Now I don't have this scored at all. Um, and this designer series paper is one and a half by four and a half. And I'm literally going to place it kind of in the center here. And I'm going to just kind of fold it back for right now. And then I'm just gonna wrap the back and then wrap this. That really is all I do. Now, if you wanna kind of give this a little pinch on all the corners, you can. Um, and if at this point, if you wanna use your um, tear and tape, you can. I'm going to just use my green glue again and I'm just gonna give that also a pinch. And then we're gonna stick this in there. Okay, that looks cute. Okay, that looks cute. All right, so now we need a heart. Let's still do the white heart. And the heart is coming from the Be Mine Punch. So we're gonna do a little white heart here. Well, it's not really little, but all right. So we'll end up putting that there. But then we need the Be Mine. So. I thought we would stamp be mine on the flirty flamingo. So let's try that. Bring out my memento here. And by all means, this is just a scrap piece of paper. Same with your white to do your heart. It's just scraps. So because you're going to take your paper snips and you're going to do a strip and you're going to cut it at an angle. So you're going to do a paper snip. So you're just going to cut it down and cut it at an angle. And then you're going to come over here and you're going to go underneath. And then you're going to cut this at the opposite angle. So see how that's, you got the opposite angle. And I'm actually going to cut this a little bit. There we go. And then we would just do that. Super cute. All right, hold on. So we need a little more glue. This is like, reminds me doing this little project kind of reminds me of doing like, you know, your little crafts at school. And then we're just gonna use a little glue in the center here because your, your sides will overhang. So you don't want glue on that. All right, so let me, why that dries for just a minute here. All right, I'm going to brush these aside, get those out of our way. All right, so here are your cute little lip gloss holders. And that didn't take very long. So when you see little projects like these at the Dollar Tree, how cute are these? These would be cute for like if you have a daughter for her to give her friends for Valentine's. It's just really cute. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Tomorrow is the last one. Hmm. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.